There we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Retold. We are playing the new Marcella Moon game. Third one, Curse of the Black Cat. So I actually won this in a social media thing on Instagram with Hidden, Hidden Ocean Games. So thank you for the copy of the game on Steam, Hidden Ocean Games. Much appreciated. Oh, whoops. I need to switch buttons here. There it is. Marcella Moon, Curse of the Black Cat, and uh, I'm one of the first to play it on YouTube, so I'm going to have to really try to figure it out all on my own. Oh boy, this is nice. Okay. Controls. Menus, escape, inventory, spacebar, click on hotspots to interact. Hint. Some inventory items can be used on characters by clicking on the inventory item and then the character. <gasps> okay. Three years ago. Do we have game? We don't have any audio coming through, so just so you know. We have character voice acting now? Oh my goodness, okay. This is exciting. This might save me some time reading it myself because I am not a good actor or reader. Wow, this looks like a writing shirt. We've got so many things to look at here. Can't look out the window. I've got a few more things I'd like to get done today. Oh, she's lovely. I've got a few more things I'd like to get done today. Okay. So, do I need to what? My grandmother's mirror. I look just like her. You look like your grandmother. Okay. Okay. So, do you get dressed or? I like how I look in this shirt. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Puzzle instantly? We don't even have a mystery yet, but we've got this. Oh, it's a logic puzzle. Okay, I love these. I create these a lot. Um, or at least I did with the uh, Her Interactive Amateur Sleuth blog weekend puzzles. I did this a lot. Um, okay, so blue heart plus star plus, okay, that's all addition right there, plus black square equals 14. Okay, so black square plus red triangle is six. Okay, let's just read through this and see. What... Okay, so start with the easiest one, which is down at the bottom. Blue heart plus blue heart is six. So blue heart equals three. Okay. All right, and then if we look at three plus what equals five, this has to be a two. So triangle is a two. All right, so then Ooh, sorry, that was loud. I was given pasta and it's amazing. I'm gonna have to eat this. This is really good, it smells amazing. Okay, where were we? Okay, we figured out triangle, we figured out heart. Okay, and then, so this one we should be able to figure out because this is something plus two equals six. So the square equals four. Okay, so we know what these two are. So two plus four, which is six, equals 14. So 14 minus six, that's eight. All right, so the white circle is eight. How does that help us though? Because it's that's the only instance this exists. Okay, well, we know... Oh, this isn't a really a puzzle. We're not trying to solve for anything. We're just trying to learn what these symbols mean. Okay, so now we just need to figure out what the star and the diamond are worth. All right, so we can we use this one. So three plus something plus four equals 14. And so three and four is seven. So the red, okay, so this is, this is a seven. Last one to solve for, this. Okay, seven plus what equals 13? So this is worth six. Okay, got it. So we know that now. All right, that's just that. I've got a few more things I'd like to get done today. Oh, is she trying to like go to sleep? Urgent, please read. Hello, Marcella Moon. Oh, this is from Lydia Sarah. According to our records, you have not claimed your payment. 
of $270,000 US dollars? You must not ignore this email. In order to claim your payment, you must send us a deposit of $450 US dollars and a scan of your passport. Then we can verify your identity and send your funds. Please send this de deposit within six days, business days, or your payment will be forfeited. Bank of the Republic. This is scam. This is a scam. Never send a scan of your pay passport unless it's uh, for official government business or something. Regarding, let's go with this. Okay. Hey, girl, are you in for the concert? I need to get it tics, tickets ASAP. Prices are going up. Uh, I'm not sure yet. That's pretty pricey. I've got bills, you know? OMG, plant milk is coming to Rosebrook. Plant milk? <laughs> Rosebrook and April. I've been wanting to see them in life for forever. You in? Hmm. We have received your application. Thank you for applying to the junior event coordinator position. Your application has been received and you'll be reviewed by our team and will be reviewed by our team shortly. Rosebrook Advent Planners team. We have received... Uh, for office assistant, part-time, due to the volume of applicants, we will not be able to respond to every application. If we feel you are fit for the position, a member of our HR team will be reaching out shortly. Rosebrook Dental Group. So she's... Okay, so Martellus Moon is applying for jobs. Spring is almost here. Why not freshen your home with one of our signature spring-scented candles? Daffodil Dream, Morning Dew, Begonia Bloom. Get 15% off your purchase online or stop in at our Rosebrook location today to choose the perfect can candle for your home. Happy Sense Rosebrook. Your article has been accepted. Your article on top 10 dog-friendly juice shops in Portland <laughs> has been accepted with a rating of 7.5 out of 10. Your payment of $15 will be sent by our payment processor within 14 days. Thank you for contributing to our community. Okay, so Marcella is trying to earn some money. How are things? What have you been up to? This is from Oscar Martinez. Oh yeah, he called us in uh, the first game. I'm passing through town next weekend and would love to get together. Let me know if you're free. All right. Ooh, we're in a hallway. Pretty pink pictures. There or... Okay, can't go there. Okay. Come in. Margot Russell. Wow! How's it going? How's it going? Uh, it's okay, but I've got a few deadlines coming up. At the rate I'm going, I'll have to pull an all-nighter. Are you a student? Being a junior editor is the best! Doing all the work while the senior editor gets most of the credit. <laughs> Hopefully, with a little time, you'll be able to show that you're ready to play a bigger role at the Rosebook Reader. That's what I'm hoping. What are you up to today? The usual. Looking for work. I'll probably do a few tasks on Get It Done to earn some extra cash. Could be a nice day for a bike ride, too. I want to buy to this, really. Let me mute this for a second so you don't hear my crunching. About rent. I know it's a few days late, but I'm working on it. I promise I'll have it to you soon. No worries. I know you'll get it to me when you can. How's the job search going? I'm applying for pretty much anything at this point but not getting a lot of callbacks. Why do entry-level jobs require years and years of experience? Beats me. I should probably go. I'm under a serious time crunch right now. All right, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Not that I can think of. Unless you want to finish the story for me. I know you're joking. But if there's some way I can help, I'm all ears. I've been doing some freelance writing, you know? True. Hmm. I know that the owner of the Rosebrook Community Theater has been bugging us to cover her upcoming show. I bet you'd be taking the load off of the team if you could go down and interview her. I think you can handle the job. I've seen your writing. I'll vouch for you. We're pretty desperate for more help after our intern quit. Sure. I think I can handle it if you give me some pointers. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. We'll probably just print a few lines about it. Just ask her a few questions, keep it simple. The opening night of her show is this evening. Something about a new statue at the theater. 
But you're smart. I trust you. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask you to do it. You'll figure it out. And if it goes well, there could be more work for you in the future. We like to hire reliable writers on a freelance basis whenever the workload gets out of control. So this could be a cool opportunity for you. All right, I'm happy to help. I'll bike over there this morning. This is nicely modeled. I like this. I think I remember seeing this like in a social media post like a long time ago too. So I'm on, I'm renting a room from her. She is a junior reporter. I have a bike in my inventory. That's great. This is really good pasta. It's like Parmesan cheese or something on it. Ooh, wow, look at this building. That is so cool. I'm gonna go all over the places. Oh, looks like there's someone right there. I can see. What's on the left? <gasps> What's this? What's this? I want this. What? Uh, 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 uh. I know there's a hot spot right around here somewhere. There it is. A. Okay, A is green though. We need to make sure we note the color. It might be important. A is green. This is so cool. I love this. What does this say? Due to incredibly high demand, Lorenzo Moore is not accepting any walking clients. He understands that his tremendous talents can't be found elsewhere, and regrettably, you'll have to seek out the talents of a lesser psychic if you need to make it an urgent inquiry. Please consult Lorenzo's website if you would like to put your name on the waiting list for an appointment. Oh boy. There's a note on the door. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to get to go in there. Oh, where am I now? I don't know, but it's... This looks like a wall. Oh, man. I can't remember what the new entry combination is. I think I wrote a hint somewhere. Hmm. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't even know where I'm at. But star is seven. And then this is eight. The circle is eight. Two... Three, four, six. Looks like no one's home. This is cool. Look at this place. Oh, I want to look at the books. What's this? Detective's daughter saves the day. Another case closed today in Rosebrook, this time with an unlikely hero. A string of bank robberies in the area has left the police scratching their heads. That is until Marcella Moon, age nine, and daughter of Detective Derek Moon, cracked his, his case wide open when she recognized the masks the bandits wore were made of the same fabric as the dolls from local shop Linda Lee's creations. With this tip, the police were able to corner members of the gang and bring them to justice. Daddy-daughter crime-fighting duo, Detective Derek Moon got a helping hand from his 12-year-old daughter today when he, she stopped an escaping criminal dead in his tracks. I was riding my bike when I noticed a bad guy running down the street. Then I saw my dad chasing after him, Marcella explained. I got off my bike and pushed it in front of him, and he tripped and fell. Detective Moon was able to apprehend the criminal after that. I am so proud of my daughter, the detective commented. She is a brave and bright girl who thinks on her feet. Marcella Moon super glues bad guy to chair. It's unorthodox, but the girl has a talent says police commissioner. <laughs> Teen captures footage of illicit dog fighting ring. Marcella Moon awarded full scholarship by Rosebrook PD. Wow, Marcella Moon, age 17, will be the first person ever to be awarded a college scholarship by the Rosebrook Police Department. Funds for the scholarship were donated by local business owner Eloise Mayflower, whose life was saved by the Rosebrook PD in a shop burglary last year. The scholarship will be an annual contribution to a student with an interest in criminal justice. Marcella is a young woman with a bright trajectory who has already shown an aptitude for criminal investigation. We think that she will put this opportunity to great use in helping the community, Police Commissioner Roland stated. Rosebrook PD seeks evidence in officer slang. How many of these articles are there? There's a lot of articles. She's good at her detective thing. Oh no. Detective Moon had was shot with several bullet wounds, pronounced dead on the scene. Contact Nat Natalia 
per res at that number. Oh no. Remembering Derek Moon. <gasps> oh, that's so sad. Is this her? This isn't her house, is it? I don't know. I guess that's all I can look at. Oh, wait, no. Oh, pretty. <gasps> One number is correct, but in the wrong place. Ooh, another puzzle. Okay. Two numbers are correct, but in the wrong place. One number is correct. Oh, I'm terrible at these. One number is correct and in the right place. Okay. No numbers are correct. Okay. So that's, I like that. I like that. There's no zeros, no threes, no eights. So that eliminates this one right here. One number is correct. Okay. So it's either nine or one, and that's the correct place for it. Two numbers are correct. So it's, so seven is correct. There is a seven and seven, nine, two, seven. Would that work? Yes. S is blue. Earrings, huh? Two earrings. They look like earrings. Just look closely at the rest of these things here. Because my cursors, it seems very finicky about where I select where I hover stuff. All right, so I guess that's it then. I wanna find another character so I can eat my pasta. Uh-oh, is it broken? Oh no, oh goodness. Oh look, there's another clue. C is, I'm gonna say that's a tan. Okay. Um, can we go with here? Oh, cool. Eat in, take out. It's foggy. We have coffee. Yay. Oh, what's this? Z equals red. Fire extinguisher. Oh, the fog is trippy. Can I have food? Good morning, Marcella. What will it be? The usual? Yep, a chai latte for me and a macchiato for Marco. Coming right up. Here you go. Thanks. shop all about well we've got everything a modern day white witch needs to thrive incense herbs candles crystals spell books you name it in a more general sense I provide products to increase positive energy calm and well-being everything you'll find in this shop is grounded in traditional healing practices from around the world I've seen you in here a few times before. Is there something in particular you're looking for today? Not really, just looking around today. But you're interested in modern day magic. Sure, I'm interested. I'm still not sure how much power these things hold, but I find the stories behind them fascinating. Well, that's a start. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the items you see in the store. How's business? I've been very happy with it lately. I believe that, more and more, people are realizing that modern life doesn't hold all the keys to fulfillment. It's missing a little... magic. When that happens, my work becomes all the more important. 
I have been able to help many of my customers find new solutions to the problems they're facing in their lives. What are those rocks in the corner? Powerful stones for protection, healing, grounding energy, and other effects. Each type of crystal has its own meaning. Let me know if you'd like to know more about a specific one. What's in the cupboard? Herbs. Used to create herbal concoctions with powerful effects. Put them in salves, lotions, teas, or even inhale their scents to get a variety of benefits. What's on the bookshelf? All kinds of books about spirituality and magic. Take a look if you'd like. What's in the back room? Oh, much more. You're welcome to take a look. I've got home decor, beauty products, and more spiritual books back there. Are those candles special somehow? These candles are meant to be used for magic rituals. Spell candles help you channel energy towards a particular intention. Whether it be love, truth, healing of grief, power, luck, feminine energy, creativity, happiness, or whatever intention you choose. To get the best effects out of them, you should cleanse and charge them first. I can recommend a good book for beginners if you're interested. Thanks for the information. If you need anything else, let me know. Okay, noteworthy modern covens, huh? Pass this test to access the powerful magic contained within this book. <laughs> Is it locked? <laughs> oh, it's locked. Oh boy, number of triangles. Well, four times four, there's 16 total. Please be right. The answer is 44, and I'm gonna have to draw that out a little bit better if I'm gonna show you how I did that. Just trust me, it's 44. You can see the result there. Ah. I'm gonna put my crayons away real quick, hang on. They're very special. Okay. Go back to my notes. What does it say? The black cats are a group that believes strongly in the role of karma and personal fortune. They are said to be karmic helpers, bringing fortune to those who have done good deeds while dealing with their own brand of justice to those they believe have done wrong. Oh dear, that could be dangerous. It is thus very dangerous to get on the wrong side of a black cat. The members are known to practice black magic. Oh dear. Okay, so now we know about that. There's the rocks. There's the candles. Is there anything else I can... I can't... Go back there now, can I? I talk to her again? No. Nope. Thanks for if you need anything Oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't have cut through that. Okay. Um we went to that, 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 that. Um, can we go there? <gasps> I love this angle. Oh look 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 look. Nine is also purple. Huh, because the zero is purple. Oh, look at these seating areas. Are these seats just on the ground, or is that? Are those waffles? Can I eat that? I want to go in there. Can I go in there? I want to go in there. I want to go. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Where's that hot spot? I saw it. There. Oh. That's not where I wanted to go. You really want to go in there? Mm, okay. I guess not. Hmm. Whoa! Where are we? This is cool! Is that a black cat? 
Looks like third eye or something. Who's this cool, cool person? Hi, I'm with the Rosebrook Reader. I'm here to speak with Diane Fields. She's in her dressing room, down the hall to the right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm not going to go up and grab the bag while she's standing there. Hi, Diane. I'm with the Rose Book Reader. I'm here to interview you about your upcoming show. It's about time. I've been asking someone to write up the story for a week. You could have picked a better time. This will have to be quick. I've got curtain call in 15 minutes. I'll try to be quick. What is your new show about? It's about the black cat statue that will be installed in the theater after this evening's show. You must have seen it in the lobby when you walked in. Yes, it's very grandiose. What is the significance behind it? My psychic advised me that the symbolism of the black cat would play an auspicious role in this chapter of my life. I saw this statue at Good Intuition last week and I was immediately inspired to welcome it to the theater entryway. I thought this would be just the thing to bring some new life into this theater. You know, some people think black cats are bad luck. I used to think that too, but my psychic explained that black cats can also be a symbol of love, money, and prosperity. We could all use a little more of those things, right? I sure could. Who's your psychic? Lorenzo Moore. Surely you've heard of him. He's the best in town. I can't say I have. It sounds like you've placed a lot of faith in him, though. That man can work wonders. Anyhow, I really hope you'll be present at this evening's premiere. Of course I'll attend. It sounds pretty interesting. I've worked with many local reporters, but I'm not familiar with you. What's your name again? Marcella Moon. Marcella Moon? That sounds familiar. Oh, wait! That's fantastic! You're that detective's daughter. Yes, I've read about you in the paper. Yes, that's me. Diane, you're on in five! Well, I'd love to have a cup of tea with a talented young lady such as yourself. But as I mentioned, I'm about to go on stage. Will you stay and chat afterwards? Sure, I can do that. You must prepare to feed scandals if you wish to be known. Brave is the man who destroys his pride, but also brags about his own righteousness. I know not of treason, nor righteousness, nor the matters of an aching heart. Hear me now, for I shall not slumber until the last hour of our differences has passed. My question, still unanswered, will linger in the hearts of the dutiful, those who dissect the algorithms of truth and wield the weapons of humanity. <laughs> Marcella, how did you like the play? Wow, very inspiring. I just knew you'd love it. I can tell an appreciator of the arts when I see one. How long have you been acting? Oh, all my life. I can't remember a time when theater wasn't a part of me. I've starred in many types of shows, from one-person acts to major productions. As of late, I've been concentrating my efforts on my monologues. I just feel that I have so much wisdom to share with my audiences. But to tell you the truth, it's been harder to fill the seats. People aren't interested in your monologues? It takes a certain kind of intellect to understand true theater. I knew when I saw you that you'd understand my monologues. But a lot of people in Rosebrook do not. Quite disappointing.
Okay. That was quite interesting. I mean, would anybody just pay to go hear someone else talk? When you could just talk to them? If you wanted to get wisdom? You go to the theater for entertainment. Hi, I'm Marcella. Nice to meet you. Hello? Okay. Okay, what can oh what's this? Trophies. trophies. Oh. Nice trophies. That's all I can do. I can't look at them any further. Yeah. Okay, okay, well I did my interview. I should go back to my friend. I really want to go in there. But I can't seem to. So that's the theater, that's where we were. Can't go in there. I really want to go in there. It looks like there's tasty foods. Hmm. Can I talk to him again? Like so I couldn't resist. I'll take another try. You must really love chai lattes. Mm. Guilty as charged. Well, it's a good pick. One chai latte coming right up. Hmm. Getting hot beverages out and not making them himself is expensive. Marcella shouldn't be spending money like this. Maybe one a day, not more than one. <laughs> this is pricey. Okay, what are your guilty go-to drinks when you go out and about to coffee shops or cafes or bakeries? Extra whipped cream this time. Aww. I'm gonna write down his name. Awesome, thanks. Cool, cool. All right, I think that's all we can do here. So let's back out. I love the music. It's quite lovely. Wow, I feel so tall. Um, no, I didn't want to go here. I wanted to go in here. Margot Russell. I'm gonna write that name down too. Just so I can keep people's names in track. What do you think of Nicholas the Barista? What's his what's suspicious about him? He makes great lattes. What do you think of Nicholas the Barista at the Daily Bean? He seems nice. Why? I think he's been flirting with me. I don't know if extra whipped cream is uh, a way to flirt. It could be just a gratitude that she came back for more business. A smart, charming PhD student? I think you'd better investigate. All right, see you later. Keep me updated. I'm not sure what to do now. There's a note on the... Hi, Mom. Good to see you. I stopped by earlier, but you weren't here. Sorry. I didn't mean to be gone all morning. Lorenzo and I got carried away. Lorenzo, the psychic? How did you know? I've been hearing about him a lot recently. I didn't know you were into psychics, Mom. Since when? Well, I just thought it would be something fun to try. I've been reading a book that says you have to stay active in retirement. Keep trying new things. Well, I've never done anything like this. So it seemed like the perfect activity. So, what did he say? He knew about your father. He knew I was retired. And he said that good things were coming my way. And catch this. He told me at the end of our session, Alex says hello. You know, Uncle Alex who passed away a few years back. It was wild. Mama, isn't Alex a pretty common name? Don't be cynical, Marcella. 
This was a message from my cousin Alex from beyond the grave. You could just feel the tension in the air. Do you plan to go back? Yes. I want to know what my calling will be as a retiree. We didn't have time to get into it during our initial consultation. He said I need to bring in some items from around the house to help him get a better reading. I'd save my money if I were you. I should know better than to talk about these things with you. How's your tired life? I'm loving it. I get to lounge around all day and read books. I don't even have to put on pants if I don't want to. I'll be sure to knock. I loved being a nurse, but I have to admit, I also love having my own time to do whatever I'd like. I can only imagine. For me, it feels the opposite. More and more of my time is going towards trying to make a living. As long as you love what you're doing, honey. Writing articles about dog dentures, raking other people's yards, fixing the odd face. I guess I found my calling. You're young and you have many talents. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Have you considered finishing your degree? I'm sure I could speak with Mark Rowland and see about getting your scholarship back. I know you moved back to be near me, but I'm doing fine, and I just want to see you happy. I don't want you to miss out on your dream. I still don't know if that's my dream, after what happened to Dad. I know, honey, but your father loved what he did, and I know he would have been proud to have you follow in his footsteps. Just consider it, okay? Okay. See you later. Take care, sweetheart. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, I really wish I could uh, talk to this Lorenzo guy. We still don't really have a mystery on our hands yet. I think the play is about to start. Hmm. I should head over there. Starting to look stormy. I want those waffles. I want to go in here and get food. I love bakeries. Oh. What's the matter? What's the matter? What was that? Was that a gunshot or? Did you see what just happened in the theater? No. Diane fell into the statue and broke it. Megan Wilson. Oh. Whoops. I'll bet she's pretty upset. Yeah, probably. Are you going to go talk to her and see if she's alright? She knows where I am if she needs me. Well, I'll go check on her then. Okay. Okay. Are you alright? What happened up there? I, I... I don't know. I just got dizzy all of a sudden. Do you feel okay now? Look at Marcella Moon's picture. <laughs> I'm feeling better, but the opening night is ruined. This is almost as bad as the Amanda Littleton fiasco. What's that? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Can you please just go, dear? I need to be alone. How long has your assistant been working for you? Notice that she's got a cup of tea. It's possible that, uh... She's been affected by something in her tea? Oh, Megan? A few weeks now. Uh, she's kind of a drag. It's hard to find good help these days. Well, if I liked you, I'd offer myself for my services. Why, is there a problem between you two? No problem, per se. She does her work, but that's about all I can say to the girl's favor. Talking to her is about as thought-provoking as talking to a vase. Okay, so I wish I could talk about her tea. What does she drink? 
And who provides it? Nice trophies. Okay. Okay. How much open a rose book past 8 p.m.? I'll just make one more stop. Oh, okay. What are we doing? Where are we going? <gasps> Why are we here? This is cool. You know, just making sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, is this where Daddy is buried? Hey, Dad. Aww. Just stopping by to say hi. Mm -hmm. Mom and I are doing pretty well lately. Mom seems happy now that she doesn't have to work all the time. I'm doing well, too. I'm getting along well with my roommate, Margo. She's becoming a genuine friend. And I've been enjoying bouldering a lot. It reminds me of the time we went to Smith Rock together. Man. I miss you. It just doesn't get any easier. I feel like there's so much we had left to talk about. I wish I could talk to you now. I know you're listening, but I miss your voice and your laugh. And the way you had of making everything all right. It's hard. But I'll keep coming to visit. I love you, Dad. Hmm. That's sweet. Okay, do I change clothes? My grandmother's mirror. I look just like her. Is there anything new here? No, it doesn't seem like there is. I can't look at anything here. Or, okay, nothing new, it seems. How do I get out of here, though? That is the question. Oh, I'm supposed to go to sleep. Okay. Nice. Now I can leave. Oh, wait, maybe there's a new... No. Nope, no new news. Alright, let's uh, talk to... Come in. Margo. Wow, we've got a lot to talk about, so I'm going to have a few bites. Have you heard of Lorenzo Moore? No. Who's that? He's a local psychic. Apparently he's pretty popular. Marcella, I can put up with the tarot cards, but a psychic? Are you really into that sort of thing? I'm curious what all the fuss is about. I think I'll go see him. Just don't let him have your credit card number or anything like that. Do you know anything about the good intuition shop? You probably know more about that than me. Haven't you gone in there a few times before? Yes, but I can't say I got to know the owner much. She always seemed very elusive. Sylvia Weir? You know, some people say she's a witch. Like, a real one. Well, if she is, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeesh. Be careful. Well, the opening night of Diane Fields' show was a disaster. What happened? She got dizzy on stage, so she knocked into the black cat statue and smashed it in front of the audience. Then she ran off stage. What? That sucks. How did the audience react? Well, it was pretty embarrassing. The audience was so confused. When they realized she wasn't coming back, they slowly filtered out of the theater. It'll be the talk of the town for a while, I'm afraid. Sorry I got you into such an awkward mess. That's gonna be a tough story to finish. You still want me to write this up for the paper? Yes, please. Sorry. It's becoming a much more interesting story by the minute. What kind of a journalist would I be if I let this scoop slip away? All right. I'll have to find a way to be more diplomatic about it, though. Do you know who Amanda Littleton is? It sounds vaguely familiar. Who it? I'm not sure yet, but Diane Fields mentioned her last night. Something about a disaster that happened a few years ago. I can look her up in the paper's archives if you want. That would be great. I'll let you know if I find anything. Alright, see you later.
Keep me updated. Okay, what do we do next? What shall we do? I don't know, should I talk to him again? Wait forever for a coffee? Or a chai latte? I'm back. You got it. Okay. So she seemed a little dizzy. Um, Diane. She seemed dizzy. So I'm wondering, why didn't she, why can't we ask her about the tea? Because maybe Sylvia Ware can have something to contribute to that information. Maybe there's a, an herbal thing that makes you dizzy? That can be put in the tea? I don't know. That's what I'm suspecting, but we don't suspect there's foul play involved yet. Suspicious. Ah, uh, that's so sweet. Let's flirt back. That's so sweet. Thank you. You're more than welcome. More than welcome. Yeah, definitely flirting. All right, let's talk to this guy. Yeah, so how do I get to him now? I have to get to the website? How do I get to the website? Hmm. Uh. Uh. Okay, um, what's this way? Good intuition. Okay, right, yes. Let's talk to her. Did you sell a black cat statue to Diane Fields? Yes, last week. And the statue is meant to bring the owner good fortune? The black cat is a complicated figure, to say the least. In many Western cultures, it's taken as a sign of bad luck. However, in Scottish lore, it brings prosperity. While in Welsh culture, it's a bringer of good luck. In Japan, a black cat is a good symbol for single women, as it's likely to bring forth many eligible suitors. Then there are the cultures who have mixed feelings about black cats. 18th century pirates thought black cats were good luck if they walked towards you, and bad luck if they walked away. An old German tradition states that black cats are good luck if they cross your path from left to right, but bad luck if they cross from right to left. <laughs> and of course there's the fact that black cats are often thought to be the familiars of witches. And the truth in that particular matter is that a witch can choose whichever familiar he or she wants. Black cats make good familiars, but they're by no means the only option. To get back to your question, though, it really only matters what the owner of the statue believes. Intentions and beliefs hold more power than many people realize. If Miss Fields believes the statue will bring her good luck, then it likely will. If she believes it will bring her bad luck, then that's what will happen. Thanks for the information. If you need anything else, let me know. Okay. Okay, well, let's go talk to Diane then. Oh, I can't, I really wanna to go to that that cafe. Oh, I can back up. Okay, let's go to the theater and talk to her. <gasps> A red, or an orange tabby. Nice no, that's not what I wanted to look at. I want to look at the kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. How long have you been working here? Do you like your boss? Um, have you seen her yelling at me? What do you think? I'm guessing that's a no. So why did you want to work here? Whatever. A job's a job. Why do you think Diane fell last night? Don't know. Probably just because she's old or something. Look, huh. can we be done here? What's with the cat? I want to know what the cat's doing here. Miss Trophy. Ah. Uh. That's odd. Okay. Would you mind helping me? I spilled my jewelry box. Puzzle? All the mess. Puzzle? I like it organized so that each row contains only one item of each type and color. Yes, I love puzzles like this. 
That's a very interesting piece of jewelry. Okay. Okay, this reminds me a lot of Nancy Drew Shadow, The Secret of Shadow Ranch. Uh, kind of. I mean, there's multiple puzzles. So, okay. So these are already here. I need to remember that these... I guess we can reset. So there's that. All right, so we've got a yellow in this row, yellow in that row. Uh, oh, okay, so looking at this column, we need a purple and it cannot go here. So purple has to go here. It cannot be this purple. It cannot be this purple. It can either be this purple or this purple. Oh, oh it can't be this purple. Actually, it has to be this one. This is the only one it can be. All right, so that's good. Okay, so if we, oh, someone's, I don't know what that number is, so they can just leave a message. Hmm. Okay, we are back, uh, just for a little bit longer. Okay. All right, so I was staring at this for a little while and I figured out a few of them. This has to go here, this here, I hope I, this is correct, but we will find out. Okay, and then, let's see, the white ring has to go here, and then the yellow earring can go here, purple gem here, the green flower. So I like the improvement for this puzzle. It's a lot easier to manipulate the pieces than it was in Secret on the Hill, the game, the first game. Okay, and then we've got... Actually, that's all I had figured out off the air. But we could probably look at this and try to figure it out now. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you know, like, move that there. Uh, this is the only row that does not have a purple in it. You can go either here or here. Uh, we do need purple in this column and it can't go here or here. So it has to be right here. But again, it could also be, no, it can't be this. So this is definitely the answer right here. This one has to go there. All right, so that means that the last purple has to go here. Okay, so the last color we need here is white. Which white is it? It can't be this one, because we've got that. What's, what are we missing from this row? The diamond, the white. I'm gonna call it a diamond. All right, well, we've almost got this filled up. We need a blue, and uh, it's gonna have to be this one. It's, we can't put that one in there. Okie dokie. We need blue in this. It can't be here, so it's gonna go here. Awesome. And then we're missing a yellow. We need this in this area. Okay, and then we need a white flower in this row. And a flower in this column can't go here, so it must go here. Green. Perfect. Oh, is it? I didn't put the last two down. I've reorganized your jewelry box. Oh, okay. I mean, I was like that close to winning, but okay. You're a real help. Much better than that assistant of mine. I'm glad to be of service. Hey, how are you holding up? Thanks for stopping by. Well, obviously I'm still embarrassed about last night, but I consulted my psychic on an emergency basis and he reassured me that this would not be as bad as I think it will. He gave me a few methods to turn my luck around. Unfortunately, something else bad has happened in the interim. What? Uh-oh. What happened? There was a mistake with my regular donation to Rally for the Arts. It's an annual fundraising program for getting children involved in the arts. Nice. Yes, I've been to it a couple of times. Well, I normally donate a check for $5,000, but this year's check has an extra zero in it somehow. I must have signed off on it last night when I wasn't feeling well. Fifty From 5000 to 50000 that's kind of a drastic jump. I got an excited call from them this morning. 
They're so honored that they want me to speak at their opening event in two days. So you corrected them and said the check was meant to be for 5000 right? No, you didn't. So are you actually wanting to give that much money? Do you have that in your bank account? I, I got flustered and said I'd be at the event. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I wanted time to think of what to say, but it's harder to backtrack now. If I do, then people will know the theater's not doing great, and it will damage my reputation. Plus, it's for the children. How will I look if I take back such a generous donation, in public, no less? I can't stand two embarrassments in one fortnight. No, I think, I think uh, it's worth being a little embarrassed to get $45,000 back. So you're going to follow through and give them the 50000 then? Well, no. The problem is the theater doesn't have that much money to give. If I donated $50,000, I'd risk losing the theater completely. Yikes. Sounds like you have a decision to make. That was a very diplomatic answer, Marcella. Oh, I've got a public relations snafu on my hands big time. My only consolation is that since you and I have become so close, I know you won't let any of this get written up in the paper. Right. Now I need to go have the statue repaired before the next performance. Oh, what a mess. Say, do you have any idea what this symbol could be? I noticed it at the base of the statue last night. I don't remember it being there before. How hideous. I'll keep my eyes peeled for it. Oh, black cat. What did your psychic say about all of this? Oh, he was great. He helped me create an altar to ward away evil spirits and bad luck. Mm. I feel so much better already. Best $600 I ever spent. It won't be too long until this all blows over. He also said I should never go back to good intuition. He senses bad things if I return. Well, that's just competitive business. Do you get dizzy often? I wouldn't say often, but I haven't been feeling myself lately. Maybe I'm catching a cold or something. Do you have any symptoms besides the dizziness? Well, I've had a massive headache all week, but it's just stress, dear. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. I saw the symbol you mentioned. You're not going to like this, but I think it belongs to a coven. What? I saw the symbol in a book at Good Intuition. The symbol belongs to a group called the Black Cats. It says they practice black magic. So does that mean there's some sort of curse on the statue? Oh dear, this is not good. I don't know, but maybe you should look into it. I will. That sounds eerie. Black magic. Oh, this is no good at all. I'm kind of monitoring um, my devices over here on the site because I think one of the social media sites is down and I'm trying to post something to it. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's with the kitty? I want to say hi to the kitty. Okay. Okay. How do we get a hold of Lorenzo, though? I want to go in the bakery so badly. Um, let's ask her. No. Nope. Okay. Thanks for the information. If you. Hmm. What now? There's a note on the. Okay. Well, can I go on to my computer and go to his website to get a? I love that house. I love it a lot. I want to live there. <laughs> or maybe not live there, but maybe own a business there so people can come in and explore it and enjoy it too. All right. Um, can we... Uh, no, there's... I can only read emails here. That's too bad. Um, I like... Okay. Come in. Huh. All right. See you later. Keep. All right. I do not know what I need to be doing. My inventory is. I got a bike. 
I don't have a notepad in this game, so I don't know what to do. Oh, that way. There we go. Getting lost. <sighs> Can't go to Lorenzo. Okay, maybe I should talk to my mom. <sighs> yes. Oh, so foggy. Uh, no, that's not where I wanted to go. Hey, Mom, what are you up to today? I have an appointment in a little while. Then I'll probably do some gardening. Are you going to go see that Lorenzo guy again? Bring me. If I were, I'd be too wise to tell you. I'd really like to meet him, but apparently he's overbooked. If that is where you're going, is there any way you'd give me your ticket? Please, it's important to me. I don't ask for a lot. <laughs> Only the best years of my youth. All right. To be honest, that is where I'm going. I booked a private session with him. If you want the appointment that badly, you can have it. I guess Cousin Alex will have to wait. Yes, thank you. Yay! See you later. Take care, sweetheart. <laughs> so cute. Alright, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, use it on the door, maybe? Appointment card? Oh, we can go in. Oh my goodness, he's got a creepy... I have seen you here before. I always start with a reading to get to know my clients. Please, have a seat. He's creepy. Now, let's see. I'm seeing a strong driving force in your life. It seems to be about knowledge. It has something to do with higher education. Am I right? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I want to, I just like proving him wrong. I also see a great deal of prosperity. Have you come into some money recently? Fifteen dollars. Oh, all right. Hmm. I'm reading a bit of sadness in your life. Is that correct? Yeah, sure. Yes, yes. It has to do with a family member. I'm getting a sense of it. I'm picking up on strong sibling love. You must really care for your brother or sister. Am I an only child? I think Marcella might be an only child. I'm an only child. Ah oh, yes, that makes sense as well. Uh -huh. I think what I was picking up on was not a sibling per se, but rather your strong desire to protect others. Does that resonate with you? Sure, why not? Yes, but there's something holding you back. It's your fear of heights. What? Well then, I think that's enough for today. I need to replenish my energy. Is there anything else you wish to know? Um... Uh... Yes, I was trained at the Astoria Psychic Institute. Of course, you can't really be trained to be a psychic. It's just a gift that's given to some and not to others. In my case, my gift as mediumship has been handed down through the generations of my family. By choice or by genetics? I have no choice but to be a psychic. I've had extra sensory ability since I was a child. But do you mean, why do I share my gifts with the world? I feel like it is my duty. Why be given the gift of seeing so clearly, only to bottle it up? That's all I can ask him? Hmm, I guess I don't know what I needed to ask then, huh? Okay, who do I talk to now? Hmm... I want to see the kitty. Okay, I can't talk to them. Oops. Can't explore anything here. Maybe I should go back to my mom. Yeah. Let's we'll see what she has to say. And nothing. See you later. Take care. Okay. Now what do I do? 
Should we go back to Margo? Get another latte? Hmm. It's back here. Come in. Aw. Alright. See you later. Keep me up. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, let's go back to good intentions. Or good intuition. <laughs> good intuition. <laughs> That's what I meant. Good intentions, indeed. How's business with your competitor, Psychic? Aw. Thanks for the imp if you I don't know. Am I supposed to look at this again? I have no idea. Maybe I missed something. Let's talk to him. I can't order any food. Hey, haven't I seen you at the bouldering center? Probably. I'm there every Tuesday. Good to know. Next time I see you there, I'll be sure to say hi. <laughs> well, let me get your chai. He remembered. So that was a little bit of a progress right there. We unlocked a new conversation with him. Is that the sound it's supposed to make? I have no idea. I mean, I've got an espresso machine of my own, but I don't know which one Enjoy. is being recorded for this game. <laughs> okay. Um, I honestly have no idea what to do now. Can we go talk to him again? Oh, here we go. Yes, that's good. I burned it. It was part of the ritual we did together. I was able to send away all of the bad energies surrounding Diane. But in order for a ritual like this to work, the target has to make a sacrifice. In this case, it was the $600. Unfortunately, I can't help you. The money is gone. That's a terrible way of defacing... Money. Hmm. Okay. Well. Okay, now what do we do? I want the kitty. Nice trophies. Something looks interesting on the left, upper left. I can't look at it anymore, and I can't ask the kitty what you doing there. Oh. Do you think Lorento is taking you for a ride? Why would you say something like that? Well, for starters, him charging you $600 to ward away bad luck. I don't want to hear you speaking like that about him. He's a good man. Plus, well, I don't know if I should say. We're sort of dating. It's still new, but oh, he's the most marvelous man. Okay. Dating, huh? Did you hear the gossip? She's dating a weird guy. Maybe we should talk to him about it. Uh, I mean, that is good. I don't want to get another coffee. <gasps> okay. Maybe we should talk to mom about it. Or him about it. Are you dating Diane Fields? Absolutely not. Where did you hear that? From Diane. She thinks you are. Well, I will need to discuss that matter directly with Diane then. But we are definitely not dating. In other words, I'm single. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Oh, goodness. No thanks. I like Coffee Boy. What's his name? Nicholas Soares. Wait, let's go to back and talk to mom. Ah. See you later. Take. Okay. Uh, who do we talk to next then? Oh, let's confront Diane about it. Hey, guess what? You're not actually dating him. Ugh. Nice trophy. Okay then. Let's go back and talk to everybody. Ding ding! That was cute. Alright, back out. Talk. Hey, 
I found something about Amanda Littleton. It's an article from 2016. It sounds like Amanda Littleton got the hiccups during Hamlet, and she made the theater company the laughing stock of Rosebrook. There's a pretty harsh quote in here from Diane Fields. It was a gross oversight to hire Amanda Littleton to this theater company. Rest assured, she will never work in theater in this town again. We have standards to uphold and will abide by them in the future with a more rigorous audition process. Ooh. Hmm. Harsh. That's interesting. Thanks for checking that out for me. Alright, see you later. Keep me updated. Okay. So that's what that was all about. Now, who do we talk to? You go back to Diane again? I promised Margo I would draft the news story before the end of the day. Oh. I better get to it. Oh. Local playwright and theater owner Diane Fields' new play, Night of the Black Cat, gets off to... Uh, remember she said she was going to be diplomatic. A rough start, unfortunate start, interesting start. The statue, which was to bring good omens to the theater, has instead caused... Um... On opening night, Miss Fields fell and broke the statue. During the first act of the show. Yeah. How should I wrap this up? Um, health. Health is good. Miss Fields is scheduled to speak at the opening of Rally for the Arts in two days, where she will donate. Five thousand or her honest fifty. Uh, let's put five thousand. Let's see what happens when we hit submit. <sighs> there. Diane isn't going to like this. I'd better at least warn her. Did I mess up? Oh no. Do I have to tell her? No, this won't do at all. You're really going to print this in the paper? I can't believe this. After all that's been going on, this is just one more thing on top of it all. I can't stand it. Please, Diane. I don't mean to upset you. And I was going to ask for your help. What do you need help with? Please, sit down and I'll tell you. I need another cup of tea to calm my nerves. Would you like one? No. Nope. Sure. No! This is Midnight in Salem all over again right here. All right, let's see. I'm not sure how strong to make this tea. My assistant usually prepares it. Oh well, the stronger the better. My nerves are really shot. No. Here you go. Don't, don't drink it. <sighs> Thanks. So what's going on? Something else has happened. One of my awards has gone missing from the lobby. I'm sorry to hear that. Was it valuable? It certainly meant a lot to me. An actress's work is often undervalued. My awards are a testament to my talent. This particular trophy was a Heisenberg Award, only given to the finest actresses in the Pacific Northwest. The award is named after Oregon's premier female lead, Natalie Heisenberg. So, yeah, you could say it was worth a lot. I'm worried. So many things have been going wrong lately. First the play was a disaster, then there was the misunderstanding with Rally for the Arts, and now the trophy is gone. Either I'm going batty, or that curse you mentioned is real. I looked up this black cat coven, and I want nothing to do with them. I should have never bought that statue. Why would they go and curse me, of all people? You're, um, exaggerating. All of these problems started happening when that black cat statue came into the theater. I shouldn't have listened to Lorenzo. Everyone knows black cats are cursed. This stuff about them bringing fortune and love. Oh, what a bunch of hooey. Do you really think you've been cursed? Do you not? How else would you explain all of this? Psh, what about the trophy? Do you think I stole my own trophy? I'm in fine health. Why do I need a doctor? Who would want to do that? I'm still skeptical about you being cursed. Can you really say... 
Oop. It's foolish to tempt evil forces with disbelief. It's getting late. Will you come back tomorrow to help me find the trophies? I yeah. can use your detective skills. Sure. Best to say good night then. Good night. I'll, I'll give this game one credit. It does uh, show the animation of drinking tea when um, Midnight in Salem did not. When uh, Lauren offered tea to Nancy in that game. So that was a it's a nice thing to see, you know, a player actually consume something. Uh, is this bedtime? Yeah, we go to bed. What was that? What was that sound? Nothing. Let's talk to Margo. Nothing there. All right. See you later. All right. I had a guest, so I'm back now. Keep me updated. Yeah. Updated how? What do I do now? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, that's right. I need to go back to Diane. The music is fun. Wait, I can't go that way? What was that all about? Oh my goodness. Why are there cats in the theater? This is hilarious. Are you just standing there texting with your invisible phone and you have no awareness of the cats? Oh, there's a trophy. You found it. Yay. Miranda. It's Marcella. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. What can I help you with? She does look pale. She looks like an a, a model without texture. You're looking pale. Are you alright? Who? Me? Yes, who else? Who else what? Never mind. She's going nuts oh. Music is a bit loud on this part for me. Good terms. I haven't heard from Amanda Littleton since Hamlet. And good riddance. Do you think she deserved how you treated her? From what I heard, it sounds like it was pretty nasty. It's motive. Yeah, okay. There it is. I mean, that's where the Heisenberg trophy was, so she's got it. So she's not missing it? Oh! I'm feeling really strange. Uh oh. You haven't consumed breakfast yet. Okay. I mean, it could be the latte that he made me. I'm back again. Bet you can't guess what I'm going to order. My phone number? Huh? Sorry, uh, just teasing. Please don't tell my boss I said that. Uh, chai latte coming right up. That is adorable. I mean, I'll take that too if it's on the receipt. I wonder if there's something we can do. Like if we, it'd be really cool if we could like snoop his face while he's busy making it. He would totally notice though, right? Totally notice. I'm trying to get Instagram to post my post, but it's not working. That's frustrating. Ooh, nice boots. Here you go. Thank you. 
Uh, let's see, who else? Let's talk to... Talk to her. <gasps> free samples, where? Are those free samples? Yes, would you like to try one? I've got four varieties of herbal chocolate. <gasps> Rose milk chocolate, ginseng milk chocolate, cayenne dark chocolate, and lavender dark chocolate. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, I want to try the cayenne. Needing a bit of a kick today? The cayenne pepper in this chocolate will raise your metabolism and give you a boost of energy. All that from a tiny bit of cayenne? Woo! Oh, that's the game music. Are those? Yes. I'll tell like Great all of them. Choice. The rose will help lift your mood, soothe your skin, and improve your digestion. Wait, did I? Oh, did it go to my inventory? Yep. Ginseng. An acquired taste, but a wise choice. Ginseng helps improve brain function, hmm. boost your immune system, and balance your energy levels. Should I be writing these things down? I feel like I should be, you know, because it sounds like there's a puzzle that might be coming up. So ginseng, uh, brain function, immune system, and balance energy levels. Uh, let's do rose. Lift your eye. Great choice. The rose will help lift your mood, soothe your skin, and improve your digestion. Digestion. Lift mood. All right, what was lavender again? Wonderful. Enjoy the calming effects of this chocolate and give your body the best it needs. So, calm, rest. What was cayenne again? Needing a bit of a kick today? The cayenne pepper in this chocolate will raise your metabolism and give you a boost of energy. Metabolism. Energy. All right, let's take a look. Can't pass up free chocolate. Yum. Oh, it's empty. Okay, so I only ate the cayenne one because that was the last one I got. I wonder if I need to offer it. Let's go back. I want more. Which one should I offer to? I think Diane needs ginseng. I like being able to have fast convo. I can just click through it. Let's see, can I offer? Oh, I really want to go in there. I really do. Cats. I have an empty bag. Oh no, I wanted to offer. Okay. Okay, I, I guess I just ate it. I have bags now. Oh, it won't let me click Yum. and drag. Okay, I guess we cannot talk. Ah, oh, more flashing, huh? Okay, now what? I thought the chocolate might be... Might be affecting her, or maybe it was the tea, or it could be the chai latte. Well, let's go talk to mom. Oh, come on. Oh, more flashing. It's getting more frequent. Oh! I passed out? 
pupils are dilated. Uh oh. Heart rate is a bit low. Heart rate, huh? I mean, cayenne would have helped. Almost seems like she's been poisoned. Oh, the last part isn't audio. Rest's waiting. For how long? I've got a mystery to solve now. Who would poison me? You gave me quite the scare. How are you feeling? Fine, I guess. What happened? You passed out on the doorstep, so I took you to the hospital. Is there something wrong with me? Not that we know of. The doctor couldn't really explain it. I've been monitoring your vitals and they're stable. You've been resting for quite a while and you seem to be doing okay. Well, that's good. I've been feeling strange. I've been having these weird visual distortions. On top of that, I've had the worst headache. That's why I'm worried about you. But the doctor didn't find anything wrong. I'd like to keep an eye on you to make sure you're okay. She thought that, but your toxicology report came back negative. Have you been exposed to anything out of the ordinary recently? Tea. Bring me a sample of it. Oh, okay. Am I free to go? Stay with me as long as you like. I'd like to keep an eye on you. I might go out. Okay, but you need to continue to drink lots of water. If you feel bad, call me right away. <gasps> rally for the arts! Big arrow that way! I think the rally for the arts opening ceremony is taking place. Just tell it's typo. Don't say that. Oh, don't be accusatory. It's not their fault. Gotta go talk to her. Some rally, huh? I bet some of the townspeople are upset about you calling them out like that. I only spoke the truth. I've held my tongue for so long, and it was only a matter of time. I don't deserve this small town nonsense. I've won a Heisenberg, for goodness sake. Hmm. I think it's your tea. I don't think so. It's rubbing off on you. Dizziness, headache, and falling seem to be part of this particular curse's modus operandi. Quite conditions, too. Have you had any of those? Yes, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm very sorry. You should come with me to speak to Lorenzo so that we can ward the curse away from you, too. Maybe later. Don't take this lightly. Oh, I don't. Okay, let's go ask her about it. Uh, 
it's this way. What was in the complimentary tea you gave Diane Fields? I think I might have had an allergic reaction to it. I didn't give her any complimentary tea. Hmm? But she said you did. I'm sorry, you must be mistaken. Are those? Yes. Hmm. Thanks for. Okay. Well. I can't get a sample of the tea because it didn't come from her. Let's talk to him. He's got chai lattes. We looked at this one, right? Yeah. Wait, with all these letters that we keep finding around. Let's see, I've got Z A S C 09. Unless it's an O. Um but I don't know what any of these mean. Both of the numbers are purple. And they don't seem to spell anyone else's name because I don't see anyone who's got the letter Z in their name. Fascinating. Sounds interesting. I'd love to hear more about it sometime. Are you guys done? Let's move this line along. I've got places to be. I'll be right with you, sir. I better go make that chai. I wonder if it's the chai, though. It could be. He's got spices. Unless it's a an already mixed blend. I want some chai. I want to make a chai latte. Do I have any chai? Hmm. I mean, I've got tea upstairs. I'm kind of tempted to go make some. Some herbal tea. Because it's a little too late for more caffeine. How long does it take you to make your... Okay. I have a bag. My appointment card and chocolate. Let's talk to Lorenzo. It's a fun name. Huh. How do I get a sample, though, if I don't know where it came from? Well, let's go talk to Mom. Nope. Okay, well, let's go back and talk to Diane. The assistant. This one? No. I like that one and that one. Ah! Wait, was that correct? I've got the tea. Oh, okay. You do? Was there any complimentary tea that came with the black cast statue for the theater? Yeah. This is so strange. Did you pick up the statue yourself? No. It was delivered here. So the tea was in the delivery box. 
Yep. Huh. Thanks. So someone could have put it in there after it was delivered. Okay. Well, let's take it back to mom. And maybe she can get some samples. Uh, maybe get it. Oh, come on. See you later. Take care, sweet. Can I offer the tea sample to her? I think this tea might have made yeah. me sick. Why? What is it? I don't know yet. I wonder if we can find someone who is familiar with herbs. Good intuition. You can ask. Can you tell me what's in this tea? I think it made me sick. Let me see. It's no wonder it made you sick. This tea contains traces of deadly nightshade. Deadly? That's the name of the plant. <laughs> it's not all that deadly unless taken in high doses. In fact, women used to use nightshade to dilate their pupils in order to become more beautiful. When was that? What are the effects of nightshade? I've been having some strange symptoms after drinking this tea. Nightshade is known to cause blurred vision, dizziness, headaches, and slurred speech. More serious poisoning can result in abnormal heart rhythm, convulsions, and death. That's not good. Yes, definitely. Nightshade disrupts cognitive abilities like memory and judgment. People who have ingested nightshade may become confused or have hallucinations as well. It's an interest of mine. That sounds very ominous. I'll ignore the fact that you're accusing me of poisoning you. <laughs> yeah. So is it deadly or not? Both Diane and I drank it. It is deadly, but judging by the amount of nightshade present in this sample, I'm guessing you didn't ingest enough to kill you. You're also here, speaking coherently with me. It takes about 10 to 20 nightshade berries to kill an adult. Hmm. Possibly. This herb can cause loss of balance and staggering. Okay, I think I asked all of these now. That's all very interesting. So I've been poisoned, huh? You'll be fine. Let me get you some calabar bean. This should counteract the effects of the nightshade. There's one for you and one for Diane. Never heard of it. Thank you, Sylvia. All right. Let's go give it to uh, Diane. Now that we have some answers, now we just need to figure out who... Uh, has access to nightshade. Here, take a calabar bean. Diane, you're going to want to stop drinking that tea. Dun dun dun! I just can't believe it. Who would do a thing like this? Are you sure you can't think of anyone who would do it for you? No, I honestly can't. Except that would work out for me, but please, you should go and rest. The assistant is gone. Let's snoop the bag. Oops. Oh, okay. It's very much like uh, the game called slivers behind the scenes uh, in Nancy's Received Darkness. Oh, uh, we don't know. It's also kind of like mine. Uh, mine. 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 What is that game called? Alright, so seven, huh? Of the like colors. Alright, so. Oh, okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, 
seven. Uh, is diagonal okay? Wow, that was difficult. That took a little while. Okay, okay. <gasps> Extra strength! That's what's in her bag. So she's attracting cats. Alright. Well, let's snoop her space. Do I, did I take the catnap? I guess we will head out then. Maybe we can ask, uh, ask her about catnip. No. Mm, I'm not sure what to do. I'm upstairs. I'll be with you in a minute. Please help yourself to a glass of water. I can't. Let me. Oh. <gasps> what is this on his computer? Okay, blue, which is A. If, if we're looking at the letters that are strewn about town, blue is A, then red is Z. Green is. Oh, did I do this wrong? Oops. It's S is blue, Z is red. Green is A. Then the tan is C. Yellow. <gasps> I haven't found yellow yet. Oh, and there's a light purple and a dark purple? Oh dear. Then it's some letter 09. I have to find the yellow one. Oh no. Okay, I have to find it. Where was it? Um, well, I mean, we saw this one, right? Yeah, that's the letter C. We saw the one in here. Z, yeah. How do I get out of here? Do I have a choice? I don't have a choice. I'm on a pretty tight budget. <laughs> I think I've had enough chai latte. Okay, good. Now I can leave then. Uh, okay. We saw this one, right? Which one was this? Yeah, the one... Is that a dark purple zero? Can't see anything here. Okay. Yeah, we saw that one. There's nowhere else to go here. Same thing. Okay, there's that one. The light one is nine. Can I show 
of these. Can't look at that paper? I don't know where the other one is. Oh, okay. Would there be one at Marcella's place? Oh, I mean, there's that one. Yeah, I got A. Are there any out here? I have no idea. Oh, well, I already opened that, so. Where is the last one? Oh, I can still read the newspaper clippings when I move around. Okay, I do not know where the other one is. What, are the, what is the last letter? make an accusation? I mean, I don't know yet. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess the assistant, but I don't know. It could be Lorenzo. It could be Sylvia. Someone who knows herbs. It could be Nicholas. Let's just guess Megan. Visit all of my environments again, make sure I'm not missing anything. Maybe there was something at Lorenzo's place? And I'm just missing one letter? That's the sidewalk. How do I get out? I don't have a back arrow. I'm on Thank you, there we go. I'm up. Yeah, I don't know if he's got any more around here. I could start guessing, but I really don't know what the answer is. What is yellow? Um... I mean, I want to find it. I don't even know what word this is supposed to be. seen this environment before. I just gotta keep looking, I guess. I've been worried about you. How are you feeling? I've got some things to catch you up on. isn't exactly a stranger anymore. And stay away from Lorenzo Moore. Remember, I'm just a phone call away. 
if I had a phone. See you later. Take care. Are there any papers? Like, <gasps> no, that's a back arrow. Any papers here? Here? No. Oh, well, you know, we are progressing, so that's something. I have no idea. I think we're just gonna have to guess the letters. I have no idea where to look. I'm upstairs. I'll be Glass of water. Okay, we're gonna start guessing then. Diane Fields. Client came for advice about disappointing love life. A flurry approach may work well with this client. Gave positive reading about romance in the near future. Second visit about love life. Recommended weekly sessions to work with negative energy. Took client to dinner after session. I feel like playing up the romance angle will be very lucrative. Came again for advice about theater attendance. Recommended symbolism of black cat. Oh, Lorenzo. Next visit, let's ask for a thousand dollars more. Spirits have become angry. <gasps> Scammer. Oh, general reading. Oh, for Layla. Spoke about family, especially daughter Marcella. Client said, says daughter gave up scholarship to stay near home when her father died. Client worries daughter's unable to move forward. Seems a bit lonely. Maybe romance angle will work here too. I have had success with that recently. Marcella Moon. Seems like a skeptic, but not sure. Not sure she'll be back. I picked up on a bit of sadness. Clinton returns, get more info on dad. Amanda Littleton visits one, two, three, four days. Does not talk about herself, but instead wants to inform on Diane Fields. Oh. <gasps> Puzzle. Okay, come to the cemetery tonight. Begin five hundred dollars. Oops. Begin five hundred dollars. Oh. Oh. I am I am ridiculous. It's bring, not begin. Why? Come to the cemetery tonight. I definitely want to be at this meeting. Who did he write that to? Where's the cemetery again? Wait, I have? Oh, your ex? Your ex. Yes, Lorenzo Moore. Whoa! So, you and Lorenzo dated. Worse, we were married. <gasps> I have to admit that I was tricked by his charms just as many others seem to be. But from the other side, I can see his character all too clearly. Okay. Oh my. I am sickened by his behavior and I want to put a stop to it. When Lorenzo left me to focus on his work, he was still a respectable leader. It was hard to stomach that he wanted to pursue his career over our marriage. But at least it was somewhat understandable. I didn't realize that what he meant was that he wanted to be able to flirt with his customers. And I was standing in his way. No. Are you sure? Sure, my feelings are still hurt. It can be hard to let go, even when someone turns out to be who you thought they were. Working. 
If you had all of the facts about a guy like him, would you ever trust him with your money or your heart? The more information I can gather, the more I can convince the people of this town to avoid his shop at all costs. No, I feel bad for her. She is a difficult woman, and unfortunately, Lorenzo sees that. You don't think he cares about her at all? No, he doesn't care about her. I'm not sure he's capable of caring about anyone. Uh, maybe himself. I didn't give him credit there. Unfortunately, not everyone in this world is kind. That's why it's even more important for me to do the work I'm doing with my shop. Trying to help people overcome their troubles and be more likely to their lives. No. Their mission statement is intriguing, but their methods don't resonate with me. Why not? Revenge for its own sake is petty. I would rather use my skills to do good. Okay, that's all I've asked. I figured there was no point in hiding it. Thanks for the information. If you need anything else, let me know. Alright. It's almost time for the meeting in the cemetery. Let's see what Lorenzo's been up to. Yay! Is this the finale? I kind of hope so. This is exciting. I like this. You've been poisoned. Well, she's fine, isn't she? This is not what I signed up for. I just thought you were trying to be helpful. Why would I? Well, you seem like a nice woman. I was actually starting to like you. Huh. And tell me. Poison Diane. Why? She ruined my life. How did you not recognize her? How so? You're dumber than I thought. All I ever wanted to do was be an actress. I looked up to Diane Fields. She's at the center of the theater scene in Rosebrook after all. Any kid who wants to be in theater in this town has got to impress her. When you're in a position where you can influence young minds, you also have the power to crush dreams. Diane Fields does not deserve that power. She is an irresponsible, self-centered person who doesn't deserve to be in a position of authority. I made one mistake. She banished me from the theater community at Rosebud forever. At the time, I couldn't see that Diane was just one person. She seemed like an absolute authority on whether I could make it as an actress or not. She's not the gateway to your success. Because I looked up to her so much, I never questioned her judgment. I simply accepted it as truth. But I didn't have the talent to make it as an actress. And as a result, my life has gone completely off track. I wasted so much potential. I've had time to grow from shocked to depressed to angry. And now I am resolved to do something about it. I want her out of business. So she can't crush any other young person's dreams the way she crushed mine. I want to ruin her career just like she ruined mine. Well, we got quite a confession coming out of you now, don't we? It's amazing what a little hair dye and makeup will do. Now no one recognizes the red-headed, freckled, stupid girl I used to be. I'll live for her. I'm impressed. You figured at least one thing out. Yes, I am a black cat. I am proud to see justice on those who've done you wrong. They deserve to suffer. <sighs> I wanted her to feel the same kind of humiliation and devastation that she caused me. It's only fair to fight psychological warfare with me. I didn't have to do much to her. She was her own undoing. Just a few manipulations here and there. Now 
she's at the end of her ropes. It's not a nice place to be. Trust me, I know. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Oh, we already asked that. My blanket's really warm. You know, you've made a big mistake. However much your life was ruined before, it's going to be even more ruined when I turn you into the police. We'll see. Oh boy. Oh, we have to block? How do we do that? Ouch! <laughs> we, just, we just click on it? Okay. This is like Nancy Drew Danger by Design. I'm not sure what I'm waiting for, though. Ouch! I just click on it when it shows up? Is that all I do? Hey! I don't know if I'm doing it correct at all. I have no idea. You stop. I like the animations. The environment is really cool, too. She's got quite the stance. Hey! Am I doing anything good? I don't know if I'm doing it good. Stop it! Is this correct? <laughs> that is hilarious. I love it. Marcella was able to keep Amanda around long enough for the police to arrive. After hearing everything, Diane is still deciding whether to press charges. Sylvia confronted Lorenzo. About his recent activities, he realized how much pain his actions were causing and he apologized to everyone involved. He'll be taking some time to figure out how he can put his skills to a more positive use. Good. And as a, for our heroine, she realized that she loves solving mysteries and she's good at it too. Be it a calling, a, a passion, or simply a talent, she sees more cases in her future. Oh, thank you. Marcella, the compassionate sleuth. Your care and understanding of others helps you get to the bottom of any case. Did we do it? Did we win? Someone brought me, um, an orange cream soda. The end! Oh my goodness, that was fun. I loved the puzzles. Um, the programming was much improved from the past two games, and I'm really impressed by that. Do I just click through? I mean, we can just play out the music. I'd like to see the credits. Oh, yeah, because we've got voice cast. And that's also a really cool thing. I really like having the voice actors in the game. Well done. Well done. I don't recognize any of these names. Well, that's because I'm not affiliated with Hidden Ocean Games at all. Very nice. Oh, next. Oh, wow. The sounds and the models. The credits. Very nice. A cat. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. That's it. Well, thanks again for watching, you guys. If you want to support Hidden Ocean Games, this is a fun game to play. Uh, so check them out. Check out those games, the Marcella Moon games on Steam. There's at least three. This is the newest one that just came out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!